Throwaway match. Hopefully they get put on a main show. Let me talk about the Cruiserweights real quick. So, Cruiserweight Classic, which is being spoofed onto the Tyler Williams Classic, which you can find on this channel. The Cruiserweight Classic, I, in my opinion, is the greatest tournament WWE has ever had. It is my all-time favorite wrestling tournament. And it is just amazing. If you have not seen it, I advise you to go on WWE Network, go on whatever wrestling site you can, and watch back the Cruiserweight Classic, because that was a damn great tournament. Even if you know who the winner is, let's go back and watch it. I might even go back and watch it myself, and I already know who wins it. And I, that's very rare. That is very rare if I go back and watch it, and I already know who the winner is. But I'm, I might even go back and watch it. <coughs> great tournament. Then we hear, oh, they're getting a Cruiserweight Championship. So now, there's, they, we might even see Cruiserweights being used on Raw and SmackDown. And I'm like, yes, this is great. I want to see the Cruiserweights. This is awesome. Now, we're not going to see every single Cruiserweight in a Cruiserweight division on Raw and SmackDown, which I expected, because about a good chunk of the Cruiserweight division that you saw in the Cruiserweight Classic is not there. Zack Sabre Jr. is not there. Kota Bushi is not there. Grand Metallic, even though he's on the roster... He's not there. I don't know why they don't use Grand Metallic that much. They were building him up in the beginning, and he's had like one or two matches. But I haven't seen him since then. Who else was in it? Um, just a, a, a lot of the Cruiserweight guys are just not there. And if they are there, they're not being used how they should be because they act like there's only five Cruiserweights on the entire show. <clears throat> Sorry if I cough a lot. My throat is killing me. But anyway, as I was saying... I was very happy about it. 205 Live comes on. And I'm like, well, I mean, they start getting used on Raw. And it's like, okay, that's great. That's cool. Uh, they have, they had okay matches on Raw. And it's like, they're, they're not being used to their fullest potential here. Like, I feel like they should be having longer matches. In the very beginning, in the very, very, very beginning, they were having good matches on Raw. Then as the weeks progressed, they started having slower and slower and just not really intriguing matches and it's like five minute matches two minute matches three minute matches and it's like come on now you have these really talented wrestlers here and you're putting them in five minute matches they're, they're, they're treating the cruiserweights how they tr used to treat the women and it's ridiculous then they start this 205 live idea and i instantly think a third hour of smackdown just what i want so, I'm like, alright, I'm going to give 205 Live a chance, because I like the Cruiserweights, and I want to see them succeed, they're getting their own show, this is what everyone from the Cruiserweight Classic wanted, so I'm going to give it a chance. I watched the first episode of 205 Live, it was good. I could not find it in my heart to watch another episode of 205 Live, because it was good, but not that good. Not only that, but only half of the crowd, not even half, like 75% of the crowd was gone. There was only like a handful of people in that crowd. And when you have a handful of people in a crowd and a crowd's not hot, it makes it hard to sit through wrestling matches. Because, believe it or not, a wrestling crowd can very much impact a match. You could be having the best match of your career. But if the crowd isn't reacting to it, it won't feel like a good match because the crowd isn't live. They're not hyped. They're not cheering. They're not booing. If they're not saying anything and the match is damn good then it doesn't give the appearance that it's a damn good match. It gives an appearance that the match isn't really that interesting. Therefore, I'm not interested, if you see what I mean. So there it's already a disadvantage 205 Live has. But on top of that, you have an hour, and they barely give the Cruiserweights that much time. It's supposed to feel like NXT, but it doesn't feel like NXT at all. They get the Cruiserweights probably 10 minutes at the most, maybe 15 on a good night. I'm not saying every episode of 205 Live is bad. I wouldn't know because I don't watch 205 Live. I watched one episode. I tried to watch another one and I couldn't even sit through it. Because they desynthesized me into thinking that the Cruiserweights don't matter. That's what WWE has done. They made me feel like I should not care about the Cruiserweights. Because they don't make them feel important enough on the show. They don't make the Cruiserweight Championship feel like an important title. And Neville's a damn great wrestler. But they do not make that title feel important enough. Why? Because they don't have that title being defended on, on like the main event of Raw. They don't have that title being defended as often as it should be. They don't, 
when the title's defended, most of the time the matches are really good. But because it doesn't feel important, none, no, many people really tune in to watch it. Like Jack Gallagher versus Neville was probably one of the best matches in the in this year. Can't really say the same for Neville versus Austin Aries. I really didn't watch their matches at all. I didn't see any of the Austin Aries versus Neville matches. Once again, going back to the fact that they made me not want to watch the Cruiserweights. Not, they didn't make me not want to watch it. They made me feel like they weren't important enough to watch them. And that, for that reason, I don't even call them the Cruiserweight division anymore. I call them Cruiserweight Purgatory. Because that's what it is. If you are 205 or under 205, you're going to be put in a division where, honestly, they don't give a shit about you. They're going to put you in a division where you get 5 to 10 minutes on TV in probably on the third hour of Raw, where everyone's tired and bored out of their goddamn minds, or they're going to put you on the show 205 Live, where no one watches the show. So no one has exposure to you. No one knows who you are unless they watch you in a Cruiserweight Classic. And if you win the Cruiserweight Championship, you don't dream of holding off for too long because a title gets tra traded around like the Women's Championship did between Sasha and Charlotte. Now, thankfully, Neville's been holding on to that title since the Royal Rumble. So, that hasn't been getting traded around. He's been holding on to that title for a good seven months. So, kudos to them for actually putting the title on him and believing in him. But, they just don't make 205 Live feel important enough for me to give a shit about the Cruiserweights. So, for that reason, I don't care about the Cruiserweights. Until WWE makes, gives me a reason to care, why should I watch 205 Live? Why should I watch Neville vs. Akira Tozawa? It's already certain that the Cruiserweights, they don't seem like they're moving up. You would think, by now, that 10, 8 months in... We would have at least one cruiserweight versus a normal sized wrestler. But we haven't had that yet. We haven't had a Neville a Neville versus Roman Reigns match or Cedric Alexander versus Matt Hardy or Jeff Hardy. We haven't had any of those matches because they feel like the cruiserweight division should only face cruiserweight wrestlers, which shouldn't be the case. I'm not saying that you have to have the cruiserweight division the, the cruiserweight to face off against a uh, new wrestler every single week. But on big episodes, special episodes, you should have, like, a Neville versus a freaking Miz or something. Like, why is Neville facing the same guys over and over again? Because you only give him a few guys to work with. Give him more people to work with. Give him the rest of the roster. And maybe if you have people like Neville, people like Jack Gallagher facing off against guys who feel important, maybe then the Cruiserweights will start to feel important. I think you can fix the Cruiserweight division by having them face it off against main roster guys. You know, you have to have them face off against main eventers. You can have them face off against mid-carders. Or even put them on SmackDown Live every once in a while. Or face off against, I don't know, freaking... Uh, I, I can't think of anyone right now, but just have them face off against every someone every once in a while. And maybe you will actually, you know, feel intrigued. Feel like the Cruiserweights matter. Because right now, they don't feel like they matter, so I don't care about the Cruiserweights. I don't care about Neville versus Kira Kusawa. I want to, but I just can't find it myself to care. And that's sad. It really is. Can you put a mat? I am so sorry, guys. I started ranting. I completely forgot about this. I am so sorry. A lot of you are probably like, hey, what the fuck is going on? You're not streaming anything. I am so sorry, guys.